Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Batman video, and we have a brand new update, and they are absolutely throwing these updates out. Now, the majority of the time, the characters that come out, I've already covered in a leaked video update, so I tend to go through the characters relatively quickly when I'm re sort of reviewing them, because I can't do too much, and I've actually obviously tried them. Now, annoyingly, they never brought Gogo. They Wait, if I can move the game over. They never bought Gogo out to actually try, which is quite annoying, so I wasn't able to, you know, properly give her a go. But, um, I suppose that kind of sounds weird, but you know what I mean? I wasn't able to try her out and, um, see what she was actually like. Legend from the guild there. So, I I'm doing okay in the guild contest, guys. Um, nothing particularly too exciting is going on in it. it. It's not a very thrilling guild contest, but again, I was quite happy because it is something new, so, you know... I don't really have too many complaints, guys. It's not particularly anything exciting, but it is quite an easy contest, so I don't really have too many complaints. So I'm quite close to getting him uh, leveled up again here, which is great. So I want to get Hades upgraded to yellow, and then I'm going off onto King Louis afterwards, which is good. This spends a bit more money, which is obviously going to help me in the event as well. And I've got all his skills maxed out. I'm leaving his red skill for now, the same as I'm doing for Dash. I'm just kind of holding off on the red skill for now, just to make sure, um, just to see kind of where my money's at and everything like that. I've got another 70 diamond crates. That would have been someone from the guild who bought that and all of my diamonds from over the weekend. I was just, for some reason, when I play over the weekend, I always just never claim anything in my mailbox. I think it's because when I'm at the weekend, I'm normally a bit busier, so I don't have that huge amount of time to keep um, going back and forth onto this. There we go. And obviously now I can get up a few more levels as well. So that's great. I think I've got all of Dash's moves to the highest level now. Was there anyone else I need to upgrade? Cheshire Cat, let's max him out now as well. Um, I won't do his red skills again. I'll leave it as it is for now. Great. Um, Gerald just just max out his last skill there. Um, and that's everybody maxed out at 250 now, I believe. Yeah. Great. So that's all of my Colosseum team maxed out at 250. I don't particularly need to upgrade animals moves anymore. Um, and then, like I said, I'm moving on to King Louis next. Um, so where is King Louis? And I wonder if we can get him to 250. Um, obviously, I know doing that is going to destroy a huge amount of my um, XP uh, badges, but um, you know, there it is, let's see, six levels, I think I've run out of, oh, it's because that's his level, yeah, so I should be able to max him out here as well, which should be quite nice, yeah, I've maxed him out, um, oh, and I'll have 149 shards spare for him, which is brilliant, because I only actually need 100, and, I only need 100 shards to get all his mods maxed out, so, you know, that's all pretty decent there, guys, so I'm going to hold on to that, which is lovely, so, you know, all in all, we're going to do a nice little start on getting him upgraded, and let's just max out his move there as well, there we go, great, so, good little start there, guys, um, craft all of those. I thought I was going to say, I, I thought I accidentally used loading my stamina potions then. 18. Is that using my stamina potions? Oh, anyway, I've thrown them up a little bit, sorry. Well, I'm getting distracted now. Let's get into the update, guys. So, what we've got to look forward to is Fred. And I think he looks fantastic. This character looks really cool. Obviously from Big Hero 6, guys. Fred is a frontline tank hero on the red team. Fred will only be available... Brilliant. This is what I like. I really like the sound of this one. Fred shoots a burst of flame at all all enemies. It says all nearby enemies, but about 50, about 80% of the time that gen generally tends to hit everybody. Dealing true damage initially, then true damage per second. Now, I like that all of the new characters seem to kind of be doing a lot more true damage. And again, if I remember correctly, true damage penetrates armor, I do believe. Um, again, I haven't really particularly leveled anybody up who has true damage. But I've, I know a lot of you tell me about using Wasabi because of his true damage being absolutely ridiculous. We've got smoke screen. Fred lets out a burst of smoke, removing any freeze effects from allies. That's fantastic. He is going to be a fantastic character to use against um, PvP freeze teams, which is quite cool. I think he's going to be the best counter for freeze teams. 
This grants Fred and Anne stacks of hardy and blind all enemies. Fantastic. We've got sign off. Fred lifts up his sign, counters the basic attack and deals normal damage to the closest enemy after he counters. So basically it bounces the move back and he gains reality armor. So he, what's nice is that he, he'll deflect a basic attack, gain reality and armor and then deal damage to an opponent. So that's very, very good. Then we've got sign on fire. Once per wave when Fred reaches a percent of his max HP, he lights his sign on fire and removes any freeze effects from himself for the rest of the wave. Again, making him unfreezable, which would render a lot of the freeze characters useless. Fred cannot be frozen, he heals for a percent of all true damage dealt by... Yeah, that's going to be ridiculous. That is going to be ridiculous. You can see that they've built this character to actually be on the Big Hero 6 team. Because Wasabi does true damage. Gogo does true damage. So having him on the team as well is really going to add to that. Then we've got Fred Time. This is Red Skill. The initial damage of Fire Breathing Lizard, his main skill, is increased. Once per wave, when Fred reaches the of max HP, he cleanses himself and gains energy. So if he cleanses himself, so that's all debuffs gone, he can't be frozen, he gains energy. When Fred uses Sun on Fire, he also removes all freeze effect from his allies. That's ridiculous. Fred's allies cannot be... Oh my god, I love this character. Because I hate it when people use freeze teams. He seems like... He would be a fantastic character to have in your arsenal, guys. Unfortunately, he's Diamond Crow exclusive. But even at that, as long as you can keep him alive, he's going to make sure everybody can't be frozen, which is brilliant. And he's got a friendship with Gogo and Barley. And we've got Vinny. I covered Vinny quite recently, so I'm going to go very quickly through Vinny's moves. So we have his main skill. Vinny does not gain energy when he takes damage, but gains additional energy when he damages an enemy with his basic attack. Then he sets off a TNT explosion across the battlefield, dealing normal damage to all enemies. So obviously he chucks in a load of, you know, again, I said this is going to almost be like some sort of type, type airstrike thing where it's just going to rain TNT probably and go and blow everybody up. I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. The same that I'm looking forward to seeing his fire and smoke move. I think that looked really cool. Then we've got... Vinny pulls out a bundle of TNT and throws it at the closest enemy. Then TNT explodes, dealing normal damage to nearby enemies. Knowing this game, that's probably going to do way too much damage. Road Flare. Vinny throws a Road Flare onto the battlefield that lasts X amount of seconds, dealing normal damage per second. See, that one, I'm, I'm, very, ex I'm very excited to see how his art style. I'm very excited to see how he's going to work. Because everything about Vinny sounds really, really cool. And then we've got Short Fuse. Vinny's basic attacks now deal normal damage to enemies near his initial target. The additional energy gained from Boom is increased by a percent when he damages all X or more enemies. That's pretty cool. Again, Vinny doesn't stand out to me as much as Fred does. Um, yes, he does look like he's going to be a cool character, but again, really doesn't stand out. Vinny's armor and reality are increased while his energy bar is more than a percent full. Vinny blocks all attack speed increases applied to enemies for the first few seconds of each wave. Enemies that have attack speed increases blocked in this way are stunned. Battle badge. So again, it's all relatively okay. Um, but I'm not particularly fussed. Now we've got a few... Normally we'd have a, oh we don't have a hero, but the hero design team have been focusing on new heroes, hero fresh, okay, that's fine, no complaints there, uh, basically guys make sure you all your Android devices are updated, you shouldn't need to say that, you should be doing that anyway for security reasons, hero improvements and bug fixes, Manticore will now appear under the cleanse filter, very good, but yeah, that's going to say, and Gerald and Maya will now appear under the heal filter. Their skill is not technically a heal over time effect. Yeah, I mean, Gerald and they are basically healers though, so that's that's fine. They're just improvements to the filter system. I really do like that filter system, so that's quite cool. Adjust the hero filter, so again, just doing that. Bug fixes, fix an issue with the trial building. Again, just little bug fixes, nothing too exciting. And then we're getting Fred and Diamond Crates, Quack Attack and Elite Campaign, and here's a repair in the shop after the year. Okay, so nothing particularly too exciting there, guys. But yeah, quite a nice update. A couple of new characters. It's all 
looking really good and i just want to show you guys that as i always like to a little bit of gameplay i'm going to get louis upgraded after um after i've upgraded hades and then after king louis i'll have a rethink because like i said i'm just trying to get a load of characters to yellow who i can swap in and out on my coliseum team and then i think after that i'll get winnie the pooh i, I, I love winnie the pooh i know a lot of you guys are like oh, he's rubbish but i don't think he is i think he's fantastic um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video um, do smash that like and subscribe button guys uh, do consider subscribing it is my birthday on Wednesday so it would be a treat and I'll see you legends in the next one